Hello coders, hope all of you are doing great. So in this video, I will share the five best beginner friendly JavaScript project which you can build and that will give you a very good understanding of JavaScript where you will learn a lot of things about the if statement that how do you have to write multiple conditions because these are the five projects which I have built personally taught me a lot of things in my web development. So in this project, we're going to build five projects and these projects are completely beginner friendly. So as you can see that you are on my YouTube channel and the first project which I want to highlight recommend you is this counting app with the help of JavaScript in this what you will learn that how you have to set the condition how you have to assign the value and display on the counting apps so there is a lot of things you will learn so if you want you can watch this video completely I have made a complete tutorial on this I have explained that how you have to design the UI and how you have to write the simple JavaScript and this will give you a very good understanding then you can move to this to do app list where I have explained that how you can use create element in JavaScript to add element into your UI part and you can add a lot of properties. So how you can do that, everything is explained in this video, which you can easily watch it. And once you're done with this project, I would recommend you to watch this one, Canvas JavaScript project. And this is completely beginner friendly. And this project is mainly dependent on JavaScript, where we're going to write a lot of condition because here we are generating particles. Let me open this tutorial and let me show you. So let me minimize this one and let me play this from beginning. So these are the things you're going to build, like how you can able to build the, and generate this particle with the help of JavaScript. So once you understand that how everything's working under the hood, you can easily achieve this styling with the help of using external library. But here in this tutorial, I've explained everything that how you can write the code for generating this particle. So I must tell you that this one is going to be your third project. If you really want to just go to the advanced level, because, because here we are using Canva of HTML5, that how we can use its property. Once you're done with this project, and then I would recommend you to build this JavaScript Pac-Man game. Here you will learn about the switch statement that how you have to have control over the keys. Like if you want to move your Pac-Man, then how you can do that, how you can set the conditions. So you can check this tutorial as well. As you can see here, I have explained everything. Let me play this and show you. So let me play this one. So as you can see, you can able to write everything like conditioning, setting up the board, and this is entirely happening with the help of JavaScript. So this should be your fourth project. And once you're done with this fourth project, this will give you a very good understanding that how you can work with JavaScript. This is the tutorial which I have made on a timer. So if you want to understand that how you can use the JavaScript date functionality, then you can watch this and make your own timer calculator. And, and recently today I have uploaded this video where I have given you complete free portfolio website templates. So I would recommend you to download this, go through the codes and understand that how the file structure work, because this is one of the best template I have in each of this project. So I must recommend you to give a try. If you really want to good at JavaScript, then working on a project is very important. And these are the project will go from beginner to advanced labor. We are starting with the counting app, then we are starting with to-do list, then we are working with the particles that how we can generate particle with the help of JavaScript. Then you can also work with, on this project. Here we I'm telling you that how you can create a progress bar. Most of the time you have seen that when you scroll any web page, there is a progress bar on top. When you click on a button, a progress bar starts. So these are the this is the project which I have built on that. You can check that as well. So there are a ton of projects which I have built on my YouTube channel. I must recommend you to watch it, and that will give you a very good understanding that how this everything's work under the hood right now what i have seen that it's good to use external apis external libraries to creating our sliders but you have to know that how everything's work under the hood so when you build such kind of project this will give you a very good understanding that how everything's happen so i hope you would enjoy it and i do recommend you to watch this tutorial which help you a lot and these are totally beginner friendly i have explained every single code step by step that why i'm using it what is the functionality of that code and how you can manipulate those code to add different functionality to tweak it for getting different styles or as per your project. Just have a look and these all are beginner friendly. So hope you have found this tutorial valuable and the best part of this that I have provided the source code of this all project. So if you found uh, yourself stuck anywhere in this project, so you can simply download the code which I have provided and you can compare your code with my and you can rectify whatever mistakes you make but coding along with me will give you a better understanding so I just really to watch it and you will have a better understanding so hope you have found this video valuable if you have any questions any doubt leave that in the comment section because these are the things which I have learned recently Frank Courtney so there are a lot of people a lot of mentors I have they taught me a lot of things and I'm just building this project to enhance my knowledge on this language so hope you have found this video valuable. If you have any questions, any doubt, leave that in the comment section. I would love to help you all. And I would love to help myself making this project and improving my knowledge day by day. So hope to see you again. Have a